There was a mystery tonight. Our light wasn't working outside on our front porch. It burnt out. So I went outside to check it, and guess what I saw? Nice little area over here where the um, ceiling's broken in. Wonder what caused that? Take a look over the side, and what do I see below? Boards from the roof, shingles, and blood. Walk to the end of the porch. Lo and behold, blood down the post. Not just blood down the post, but blood smeared down the post, like something had been dragged down the post. Walk along the porch, try to take a look at what's going on with the roof. And I notice there's blood here, 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 splashed all over the front of the house. Take a look up. There's the missing boards. A lot of splacked off paint. Now we'd been scraping here, getting ready to paint this season, but something landed here, something really heavy. Our first thought was that maybe there was a raccoon that was trying to dig its way into the roof to make a nest, but I got up there and looked with a flashlight. There's absolutely no nesting activity. There's no evidence that anything had been scratched or bitten. No evidence of any claws that had been involved there at all. It just didn't look like a raccoon trying to break in, and we couldn't figure out how a raccoon could have bled that much and splashed so much. And then we looked on the roof, and you can see there's a bow to the roof here. Boards have been broken. Two by, two by fours is all this roof is made out of. But right in here, there's a big depression, like something had fallen from a much higher height. Now, admittedly, there is a, another roof that's a story above this. But even still, a raccoon falling that far, it'd be very hard to imagine that they could do that much damage to themselves. There's blood splashed here, blood here, blood all the way up here. And then there's the prints. Right there. You can see that it followed a path along. And look, there's two perfect little raccoon paw prints. Further, stumbled, scrambled onto the roof, scrambled along, up, up, and then a great fight happened. This is all blood, all over the roof. I counted 27 splotches of blood the size of a silver dollar or larger. And here, that's a vast amount of blood. But if you and I had bled that much, I don't think we'd be going anywhere right away. Looking again at the edge of the roof, this is just over the side of this corner here. There's that paw print again. Ma Raccoon must have crawled around the side, reached over, put her paw there. A big raccoon to hang onto the roof and still get her paw there. And then must have dragged herself across here, got down here, slid down the porch, down, 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 all the way down to the ground. You can see there's blood splashed literally everywhere. There's blood on the porch. There's blood on our Tibetan flags. There's blood everywhere. And then this is where she landed. From the distance, you can see she came down the pole, landed right there. But there's no blood here, and there's no blood here, and there's no blood here. She's not under the porch. She's not in the yard. She's not in the woods. None of the animal trails that lead away from our house have any blood on them. And with all the blood that she's dropping here, she would have surely left some blood somewhere else. There's no raccoon paw prints. We have fresh dirt around the yard. The only thing that kind of answers what happened here is that up here on the roof, where that big fight happened, that's an owl feather. And those are owl feathers. And that's an owl feather. This is a mama raccoon that had a fight with an owl. 
And she didn't just fall from the upper roof to do this much damage. She fell from a great height. So next time you think owls aren't big, owls aren't scary, well, anyone who's seen an owl knows that out here, they have a wingspan wider than a car. And picking up a 20-pound raccoon and dropping it from a high enough height to smash out these boards to do this much damage and to cause a raccoon to lose this much blood. I tell you, living out here in the country, sometimes the evenings are kind of interesting.